here and welcome to this video on analysis tips. Now today I'll be sharing with you on a good way to map out an equidistant channel or better known as an ED channel. Now what we have here in screen is a pound dollar chart on the H4 time frame. To draw an equidistant channel or ED channel, we will need to use the tool provided by MT4. Alright, now I always describe this icon as looking like a hot dog with mustard on top and the letter E on the side. So what we're going to do, we're just going to click on this icon, this ED channel. Now the way to use this tool properly is to click on the tool, select one high on the chart, while holding down your mouse button, click and drag your tool to the next high on the chart. All the while holding down the mouse button. Now, what you're going to do then is to double click on this ED channel so that the modification boxes appear. Now click and move the bottom band of the ED channel so that it touches one of the low points on the chart. And there you have it. You've just drawn an ED channel using the ED channel tool provided by the MT4 platform. Now I'm going to explain a bit more on the modification boxes so you can adjust the ED channel. The two ends of this uh, ED channel controls the tilt or the pivot. While the bottom band controls the width of this ED channel. And the center modification box basically allows you to move the entire ED channel around. Now there is no hard and fast rule on drawing an ED channel but aim for the best visual fit so that you can have as many points as possible touching the inside of this channel. Now you basically use the ED channel for prediction. In this case what we expect is for price to possibly touch the top band of this channel before moving down towards the bottom band. Now another way to use the ED channel is for trend identification. Now to do this, we're going to change to the Euro dollar chart on the daily time frame. Now we're just going to apply what we just learned by drawing an ED channel. Just click on the ED channel tool, select one high on the chart, and drag your mouse all the way to the next high. Double click on the ED channel tool so that the modification boxes are out and drag the bottom band of the E channel to fit to a low. Right? Try and adjust so that you have as many points touching this E channel as possible. Now that you've drawn the channel, we can see that Euro is still moving within this downward E D channel. Thus we can say that Euro dollar is still obeying an overall downward trend. Right here we are. We're on uh, GX777 Dat Info Forex, and this is a website you can check out later. Uh, there are some articles, Forex Basics, how to get a Forex account, all that. You can buy software off the site, and also uh, you can have access to uh, free real time quotes. So check us out. And check out the quotes. Let's see how things are trading tonight. All right, there we go. So check us out, gx777.info forward slash forex. Thank you. How are doing? My name is Justin Mueller. We are recording in a different location. I'm usually recording at my desk. Now we're just recording here in my living room, just looking outside, beautiful sunny Florida. Uh, and I'm also here trading on my iPad Pro. I have it sitting right there looking at the market as I'm recording this. But actually today, I want to talk about why most traders are addicted to scalping. Now, there's nothing wrong with scalping. That's actually how I got my start in the market. That's actually how most people get their start trading in the Forex market. Scalping is a very attractive method of trading, mainly because trading, it's very hard to think like a swing trader because when you're trading, seeing your money go up and down so fast, there's something that triggers the 
thing in, inside of your head that just gets you excited. I think it's, yeah, dopamine. It, it creates this dopamine effect every time when you place a trade, when you see that money go up and down, especially with a bigger account size. If you have an account size of like 5,000, 10,000, 100,000, and you're doing trades of like one lot, two lot, five lots, 10 lots, and it, even if you're not trading that much, let's say you have a $500 account, yet you're doing a mini lot or two mini lots, and you're trading a very volatile pair like GBP, JPY, or GBP, USD, and you see these, you see these, you know, 50 pip movements in one hour, and you see your account growing by 100 or 200 dollars. It's very hard not to stop scalping because you see those quick returns or even those quick losses. But it creates that dopamine effect where you just want to keep on being involved in the market. Now, the reason why most traders, in my opinion, uh, lose their money, I think the statistic is like 90 percent of traders lose 90 percent of their money in 90 days or less. It's like that or 80 percent, something like that. And I believe that that is 100% true, mainly because people always want to be involved in the market. Now, the downside about always being involved in the market is that sometimes you're being involved in the market when you shouldn't be involved. And that causes you to make irrational decisions. So a lot of the time, scalping is actually the downfall of most traders. So what I recommend people do if they're going to start trading is focus on trading with a swing trading mentality. Focus on trading with the mentality that you're going to hold this trade for a week or even a month. Uh, because in my opinion, that's the best way to trade, mainly because you're dealing with less psychological pressure to be involved in the market every single day. The easiest way to trade, especially if you work a nine to five job or if you're doing something and you're just trading part time on the side, the best way to trade, in my opinion, is you set a trade and you forget it. So you set it and forget it. That's why I recommended the app like Swiss Forex. You download it, you set up price alerts. So when price hits a certain region, then you'll be notified. So I just set up two alerts every trade. I set an alert for my stop loss and I set an alert for my take profit. So four days later, if I get a notification saying, hey, your USD hit this price, that's my take profit price. So I know I hit take profit. So that's the easiest way to trade and uh, the less stressful. So most traders are addicted to scalping mainly because of that dopamine effect where every single time they get into a trade, they just love seeing that number go up and down. And you have to get out of that. Even though it feels great to be involved all the time, that can be your big downfall. So just quick video today. I wanted to go ahead and talk about that really quick. And something, it's not that big of a deal, but at the same time, it is a big of a, it is, it is a big deal because it causes a lot of losses. And trust me, like I said in my previous video, I've been there, I've done that. Don't get me wrong, I still do scalps here and there. But really, in my opinion, scalping is only beneficial once you have that bigger account size because you can actually profit off of those smaller movements. So if you have a small account and if you're scalping, you know, you're making a few pennies, a few dollars, yes, that can help you grow your account quicker. But when it comes to actually making money, it's more beneficial when you have a larger account size. Uh, if you're scalping 10 pips on 10 lots, you know, that's $100 per pip times 10. So that's $1,000 you're making just from 10 pip movement. So that's why I'm saying scalping really does become beneficial when you have a very large account size and you can place very big trades. But if you have a very small account size, you know, then you're just growing your account slowly by scalping, which is nothing wrong with that. But it really, it causes the wrong uh, frame of mind uh, for a beginner trader. So focus on